Good morning. We're gonna go after some halibut today. We've really struggled with uh, finding keeper halibut since we've been down here. I've got lots of small ones, like 16 inches and smaller. Um, so we're gonna start fishing deeper. So we've been catching a lot of our halibut, like eight feet to 25 feet. The guys say they're catching the keepers deeper, but less fish. So we'll start deeper. If that doesn't work out, we'll move up shallow. All right, let's get going. Sunrise, just about ready to pop up over the city of San Diego. So we better get some fishing done. Let's go. There we go. Let's fish. Dang, this thing hit hard. What do I got? I got a spotty. That's kind of what I figured would be out here. Spotted baby bass, just a little guy. Arr, is that little swim bait? Just a tiny guy. Stingray's mating. Check it out. Stingray porn. Oh look, the sea turtle. Sea turtle, sea turtle right here. Yeah. Don't want to hook him. No. There's another fish. Yep, yeah, another spotty. Lots of little ones out here. That's what I was thinking. Uh, little one. Probably get another fish out of that. Well, I think we're coming up on that channel here. We should start dropping off. There it is. I'm going to try fishing here. It should get up to like 14, 15 feet deep. It should get pretty deep. All right. You got a sand shrimp down there looking for bonefish. I'm gonna do something else since I don't believe in bonefish. I don't think they exist, I think they're fake. There's 60 sea turtles in the back of the bay. I saw one of those. There's like thousands of bonefish and I can't find one of them. Let's go figure that out. Oh, there's fish. Let's land it. Guess what, guys? It's a spotted bay bass. Yeah. Knew I'd find one of those out here. They're so rare. Gosh darn. Another little guy. So the little ones are in the back of the bay here. Chilling. Where it's warm. They apparently do not want to eat that sand shrimp I got hanging out down there. Though. Who doesn't want a tasty sand shrimp? Just kind of jigging this small swim bait with a football head down along the bottom. It's a Kitek. Not much going on with the tide. We're approaching high tide. So maybe when the tide switches and starts ripping out of here, we'll uh, get some action. Fish. Feels like a little bit better fish, a little bit bigger fish. A little bit bigger fish. Oh, oh, am I myself? I got myself a keeper holly, I think, here. Our first keeper halibut. Let's see. This is a nice halibut. If I can get it turned. Oh no. Come on. 
This might be keeper halibut. That's the funny thing. Sidra said I would get it because I didn't bring the, the cooler today. Oh, I lost it. Oh, it's gone. How did I not get that in the net? I'm trying to lose it as best I can. Yes. That's a keeper halibut, my friends. I need your measuring stick. I think I got a keeper halibut. I'm coming. I saw you swing that thing over. I knew it was going to happen today back here. There's nobody here. Oh, so minimum size is 21 inches. But I want to eat one so bad. I think this is going to be there. Look at that, it just popped up. So easy, that's crazy. Oh yeah, he's actually close to 25. Nice. That's crazy, it's just on a little tiny swim jig. Now I gotta figure out how to get this thing in the fucking cooler. Time to eat our sandwiches. Because <laughs> we have to. All right, well, if you want to try and catch a big halibut, it's your place. All, right, all I'm using is a little football jig head, quarter ounce, and a tiny little Kitex swim bait. That's it. Just jigging that off the bottom. There's fish. It's a spotty. It's a spotty. Canada. Little guy. So we're fishing in these holes that are 10 to 15 feet deep out here. And then the surrounding area is all like six to eight feet. Now I was finding plenty of spotted bay bass up in those flats where there's lots of grass but I found that big halibut out in this 15 foot hole that we're fishing. Now one of the bad things about fishing in the back of the bay is the winds and uh, it picks up every day here around noon and usually you're going to want to be off the water by one o'clock so we're probably it's 11:45 now so we're I'm already feeling a very stiff you know, seven, eight mile per hour headwind. But it will get churning back here every day. Oh, I can't believe I can get that fish. Something's smacking it. Must be a jack smelt. There's these big smelt out here. That, uh, yeah, there it is. I got one. <laughs> I was just saying, it felt like a jack smelt. There's a jack smelt right there, if you have never seen one. There he goes. We actually ate those, they're pretty good. One of the neat things about fishing in the back of the bay is there's really nobody out here. Um, seems like all the attention is given towards the, from the Coronado Bridge all to the entrance. Um, you don't see nearly as many anglers back here in this back of the bay. Well, it looks like this wind's getting a little rough. We're gonna have to head back for the ramp. Might hit a one or two holes if we come across some as we head back, but I think we're getting very close to white capping in the next 30 minutes or so.